At 11,000 feet, Vail Mountain has 5,000 skiable acres, 193 trails, and 33 chairlifts. For one man, all this is a dream come true. With a vision of greatness and dogged determination, Peter Seibert made a mountain into a world-class ski resort. What we loved when we came here, of course, was the, uh, the openness, the west, the opportunity to create. Seibert started creating this dream when he was a little boy. At the age of seven, he strapped on his first pair of skis. And by the age of 12, he knew he wanted to build a ski resort. In 1943, Seibert joined the Army and came to Colorado as part of the 10th Mountain Division. At Camp Hale, he spent 24 hours a day on skis, honing his skills and training for high altitude winter combat. In 1944, Seibert and his division went to Italy. They went on to win the Battle of Riva Ridge, but Seibert was severely injured. He was hit by shrapnel in the chest and face. He nearly lost his left arm and his right kneecap was shattered. They looked at me and kind of tried to reassure me, but I knew from looking at them they didn't think I was going to make it. Not only did he make it, but Seibert went on to have a championship ski racing career. He returned to Colorado and worked at various established ski resorts. And in 1957, he went on a hike, a hike that would change his life. He and friend Earl Eaton climbed what is now known as Vail Mountain. Uh, I came over with Earl and we climbed to the top of the mountain. Well, at that time, why there was no we had to break trail all the way, so we had about a seven hour trip to the top of the mountain. But once we got up on top, why, you could, you could see how natural it was. There was a noticeable lack of wind. The snow was uh, rel relatively undisturbed. It had, uh, it had just about everything that I was looking for. From that moment on, Seibert knew his dream would come true. In 1960, Seibert pulled together a group of nine men to form the first board of directors, and Vail Resorts Incorporated was born. He was a, a, a businessman in the, in, in the sense that he was able to get people to buy into what his main dream was, his main goal. And, uh, and find the right people. I think that was a big part of it. The dream was big. In May of 1962, they started with a sheep pasture. Construction had already begun on the mountain to build trails and to put the chairlift system in place. And then they started building the Lodge of Vale and two or three other buildings in the village. They used to talk about the glamour of the ski business and that would be going into Midvale and checking the restrooms and doing all the things, that you know, the basics that you need to get done. The early days were filled with hard work and determination. So you look at it now and you say, well, of course, this was all going to work. But they had a day in January, the first year, where they sold six tickets. I think Pete was wondering where the family was going to be living next year. A slow day for Vail Mountain now is selling 6,000 tickets. And of course, it all did work out. But that was due mostly to Seibert's persistence. It's all about determination. It's about focus. It's about drive. It's about being uh, setting goals and, and, you know, not giving up. That was his approach to everything in life and he carried it over into business. Peter Seibert built a business that serves more than a million skiers a year and continues to be an industry leader.